I am Dr. Sister B.T. Sariyak, belongs to the Department of Zoology. The life of a human is a mystery because human can do enormous activities which comes from the energy. This energy is gained from the food that we consume in our day-to-day -day living. For the living, the body needs energy. And the energy is supplied from the food that we take. Today we shall discuss about the digestive system. Digestive system. Digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble food molecules into smaller water soluble food molecules. The nutrient is absorbed into the watery blood plasma. During the digestion the food particles is converted into three main components carbohydrate proteins and lipids carbohydrate convert into glucose protein into amino acids lipid into fatty acids and glycerol the digestion takes place mainly through two processes the first process is the physical and mechanical the physical and mechanical process the food materials are converted into small particles by chewing, swallowing, mixing, propulsion and even by segmental moving. In the case of chemical process, the digestion is done and it is converted into carbohydrate, fat and lipids. Absorption of peptides amino acids, glucose, fructose, manose, minerals and vitamins. Why digestion is important? Digestion is important because the body needs nutrients from food and water and it helps us to work properly and stay healthy. Proteins, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals and water are the nutrients. The digestive system breaks nutrients into smaller parts and the body absorbs and it is used for energy, growth and cell repair. The proteins break into amino acids, fat breaks into fatty acids and glycerol, carbohydrate breaks into simple sugars. Gastrointestinal tract. The gastrointestinal tract, otherwise, is called digestive system. The digestive processes are ingestion, propulsion, mechanical digestion, chemical digestion, absorption, and defecation. The gastrointestinal tract is a collection of organs that allow the food to be swallowed digested, absorbed, and removed from the body. The organs that make up the GI tract are the mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. Human digestive system. Human digestive system includes elementary canal and the digestive glands. Elementary canal includes mouth, tongue, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. Mouth. It is surrounded by lips and it contains 32 teeth and a tongue. Tongue is a muscular organ. Two important structures on the surface of the tongue are papillae and taste buds. The functions of the mouth, mastication, taste, speech, and secretion of mucus. In the mouth, two digestion takes place, both mechanical and chemical digestion. The mechanical digestion, teeth breaks up the food, and in the chemical digestion, the amylase present in the saliva digest the starch that is present in the food. Pharynx. It is otherwise known as throat. 
which is the continuation of mouth in the digestive system. The functions of the pharynx, transmission of air from nose to larynx, production of voice, transportation of food from mouth to esophagus. Esophagus, esophagus or the food pipe, it is otherwise called as a food pipe, it is a muscular tube. It starts from the pharynx to the stomach. The pharynx is present behind the trachea. Food or bowels is pushed through the esophagus into the stomach by means of a serious contraction called peristalsis. These contractions occur in the mucus in its wall. There is no digestion in this part. It is also called as gullet. The opening of the esophagus into the stomach is regulated by a muscular spinster called gastroesophageal spinster. Structure of the stomach. It is a highly muscular J-shaped organ. It is located in the upper portion of the abdomen. The stomach has three parts, cardiac portion, which opens from the esophagus, fundic region and the pyloric portion. The pyloric portion opens in the first part of the small intestine. The opening of the stomach into the duodenum is guarded by the pyloric spinster. The innermost layer lining the lumen is the mucosa. This layer forms irregular folds called rouge in the stomach. Mucosa form gastric glands in the stomach. Functions of the stomach. The gastric glands present in, in the wall secrete gastric juice containing hydrochloric acid and enzymes like pepsinogen. Hydrochloric acid activates pepsinogen into pepsin and kills bacteria. Proteins are broken into smaller fragments called peptones by the enzyme called pepsin. It eventually leads to the formation of chyme, which is moved to the intestine through the pylorus. Liver, gallbladder and pancreas. The liver, gallbladder and pancreas play a vital role in the digestion of food. The liver produces bile, which is then stored in the gallbladder. Bile is then released in the small intestine and as and when needed, it dissolves fat and it can be absorbed into the body. The pancreas secretes bicarbonate, which neutralizes the hydrochloric acid from the stomach as well as enzymes that break down proteins, carbohydrates and fat. Small intestine. Small intestine has three regions, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The length of the small intestine is about 7.6 meter or simply to say about 25 feet. It is quite long. The small intestine facilitates the complete digestion and absorption of food. It is lined with the mucous epithelium in the stomach. Absorption refers to the movement of nutrients, water and electrolytes from the lumen of the small intestine into the cell and then into the blood. Here in the intestine, the main process of mixing and neutralization takes place. The bulk of chemical digestion and nutrient absorption occurs here. The main functions of the small intestines are chemical digestion, absorption of nutrient. It absorbs about 90% of nutrient from the small intestine. Large intestine. It is the continuous of the small intestine. 
and the contents of the small intestine empty into the large intestine which goes by the terms bowel or colon intestinal contents move through the ascending colon across the transverse colon and down through the descending colon as material moves through the various parts of the large intestine water and salt are absorbed by the lining and the material is combined into the stool peristalsis helps to move the stool into the rectum the rectum is the last part of the digestive system it is the continuous function of the large intestine the rectum is followed by the anal canal and then anal canal to the anus the lower end of the large intestine the rectum stores stool until it pushes stool out of your anus during the bowel movement thank you